Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Tea Time. Today on Tea Time, we're going to have a special Tea Time, a story Tea Time, a tour story Tea Time. And that is why you've noticed I left, I've left a little meme space around here for photos and memes and things like that. We'll see how it works out. Uh, it's probably covering up a bunch of really dumb stuff in the background that's uninteresting. So maybe that works out for you, maybe not. Always looking for feedback. But in any case, let's begin the story. For the sake of authenticity and journalistic integrity, I will be refraining from censoring any of this story. And that means that there will probably be some nasty words. If you want to avoid the nasty words, this is not the video for you. So this was part of the Prayers for Atheists Fuck BP tour. That was right around the BP oil spill 2010 area, and we were obviously not happy about it, and so we were boycotting all of the, uh, like, Arco BP and all the subsidiaries of that group and buying our gas elsewhere. And it was, you know, it was kind of a, a fun little thing to do, uh, sort of. We had BP sort of sponsor the tour in a sort of anti-sponsor way. In any case, uh, this particular show was in Seattle on Bainbridge Island, which is literally an island. We had to chill in the harbor for a boat, get on the boat, go to the show, uh, which is, it's not our normal, it's, I think it's the only island that we've played, uh, unless you count like Jamestown and stuff like that, but they don't really count, do they? I don't know. I'm a Rhode Island national. We're just used to everything being an island. So we arrive at the venue and it's this huge empty barn thing. It looks like a maybe like a converted church or something like that, but giant sort of basketball floors all over the floors with no furniture or anything. Little stage kind of set up in the corner, kitchen area, bathroom, stuff like that. And we were just like that that that's a disaster. If you're a new starting off band, you roll into a space and you see it's open, it's the first show you ever play, you're like, oh cool, this is gonna fill up with people. But if you've had a couple of shows, you're like, oh no, we're not gonna be able to fill this space. This is gonna be bad. And we, we sort of resigned ourselves to like, okay, this is this is gonna be a bad show. It happens, you know what, we're gonna have fun with it, we're gonna make the best of it, uh, etc. We just hung out, we did some handstands, you know. And it's getting later and later and later, and we're like, well, no one's showing up. There are no other bands playing this show, it's just us. Uh, so, I mean, we might as well get the show started. Marco already had his drum set up on the stage, and Alan and I had been sort of poking around in the kitchen area, and we were like, well, you know, we got some electrical sockets over here, uh, some power strips, and they all seem to be functioning quite well. Maybe we could have the show in the kitchen. And and Marco was like, just finished setting up his drums. So he was like, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. You guys just roll up with your amps and plug in. I've been setting this stuff up for however long it takes to set up a drum set, which is quite a while. It was a very nice drum set. And <laughs> he was just like, no. But we, we just sort of went back and forth. We're like, Marco, it's going to be a better show. It's like, I don't care. Let's just do the show and get out of here. No, Marco, we're going to do the show. And then eventually, okay, okay, we got him. We're moving everything into the kitchen, and we're like, oh, this is silly, this is this is gonna be all right. And um, <laughs> it ended up being one of the best shows ever. It was like super fun. I was smiling and laughing and jumping on counters, and, and, and there were actually people, there, there were only like seven or eight people, but we had crowd surfing. Each person, like there would be six guys, it would hold up one guy, and that would be crowd surfing, right? And that guy would be let down to get picked, you know, and the next guy would get picked up, and we were just taking turns, like. <laughs> It was one of the most energetic crowds that we'd ever had, one of the smallest crowds we'd ever had, one of the best shows we ever had in the tiniest space. Uh, and it was just, it was wild. And uh, and that, that's, that's just sort of what it is. So thanks to everyone at the Bainbridge Island show way back in the day who showed up and, and had a good time and, and party with us and made an awesome situation out of a potentially aw uh, you know awful one. But uh, I decided to start with a short tour story. There are longer ones. There are more drama-filled ones. There are more intense ones. Hopefully, you like this one. And if you like the format, like we're doing, maybe we'll do some more. We'll see. My name is Jack Attack. As always, thanks for watching. If you have an idea for a video you'd like me to do, please leave with any questions, comments, criticisms, concerns, or anything, beginning with letter C in the comment section below, and I'll see you again soon.
like to breathe. The fuck where I'm going.